The Technical and Allied Workers Union, GTAU, is unhappy with the action taken against Nawasa's employee, Andy Lewis. TAU's president, Andrew Lewis, described him as a long-standing employee who helped lead the charge to have the authority change course on the contract employment strategy. I must say that Nawasa has indicated that they intended to retrench um, Andy Lewis. We engaged in discussion. We last left our meetings for further discussions. And next thing we know is that Andy was issued with a letter to be retrenched, effective, the 1st of September, 2020. The union wrote the company, sought an engagement, and on yesterday, we guessed that recognizing that there was some form of industrial considerations um, in the air, the company sent Tau a letter indicating that the board of directors met and decided that Andy's retrenchment and termination will stand. And therefore, we are calling upon the board of directors and management of Nawasa to immediately reinstate comrade Andy Lewis. The union claimed that he was dismissed in September without cause. Immediately, the company did not get back to the union. So we did not complete our discussion. Our objective, by whatever means necessary, is to ensure that Comrade Andy continue to have employment with Nawasa and therefore be able to have an income to take care of himself and his family. However, Nawasa's management is counteracting the version of the event as outlined by the union. We spoke today with Ms. Denise Boris, in-house legal counsel for the company and corporate secretary advising the board of directors. So if I want to clarify that Mr. Lewis' redundancy was not premature, Nawasa followed all protocol, all established protocol in making Mr. Lewis' position redundant. He was not fired. It was clear as of February that there wasn't a position open or available for Mr. Lewis to fill. Boris says Lewis was a part of the company's planning development unit, a position which she says Mr. Lewis was informed by his supervisor that the position would become redundant during this year. September 1st, the decision Mr. Lewis was given his letter and he was redundant as of September 1st. He was given a very handsome package, so his, his uh, redundancy was not empty-handed. Boris explained that the Nawasa team met with the Technical and Allied Workers Union and informed them of the decision to make Mr. Lewis redundant. Chrislina John, GBN News.